We're in a period right now, kind of a 10 to 15, maybe even 20 year period where we're seeing more value change happen faster than we have seen since the 1960s. Around same-sex marriage, the Me Too movement, Black Lives Matter, monuments, and you just don't see value change that big occur that rapidly very often. And so that's why I think this is a, is a unique moment in time. People are paying much more attention to things that go on in society at large. I, I generally talk about this in a marketing context. So my little history of the world since 1900 is sort of a marketing history. The first half of the 20th century was the product era. It was all about stuff. The second half of the 20th century was the person era. It was all about the person buying the product, personalization. Now we're in a century where it's all about the public. And it's all about brands and companies going beyond kind of shareholder value, if you will, to a broader sense of stakeholder value, to the ways in which they can contribute to a better society. The spark for this was sustainability, but now we're in a moment that combines the pandemic and the protest movements, and companies are finding themselves in a position where there are greater and greater expectations that they will contribute to a better society. When I think about brands now, and I've seen research on this topic, but brands are more trusted than government. Right now, government is seeming to be more confused and people I think are looking for direction and you know advice and input and clarity. Um, certainly there are parts of government and governors and local mayors who have stepped up with real leadership and clarity. Uh, so it's not just across the board, but in general, I think there's quite a lot of confusion from government and, and not not the kind of direction people expect. On the other hand, I think if brands and businesses do this well, well-run brands typically do have strong leaders. Uh, they typically do have a purpose and values, and they do often work on clarity of communications. Um, but historically, brands have just done that with their customers in their world and in their base. But I think more are stepping up now to make that statement and fill in the void. So there are great leaders in great businesses and brands that can play on a bigger platform now. And it's not just playing on the platform, it's really being, you know, who they are in a bigger world than their brand. Ben & Jerry's very boldly came out supporting Black Lives Matter. And that was something that pushed the envelope beyond other brands in their category and also within the Unilever world. When I talk to clients, what I've been hearing is that it's inspirational to them as opposed to, whoa, they went down a path that we can't go down. For more, check out the Ben & Jerry's Who We Are podcast.